The New York subway can be at best of times a bleak and dreary place. But a number of years ago, it glowed with kindness and goodwill. Yitzchak or Isaac Thel, a middle-aged man living in Brooklyn, was traveling on the Q train when a young African-American sat next to him and rested his head on Isaac's shoulder. There was a fellow passenger there that saw the situation and said to Isaac, do you want me to wake him up? And Isaac responded, no, he's probably had a really hard, long day, let him rest. After a few minutes, when the Q train reached Isaac's destination, he gently woke up the young man and disembarked the train. That should have been the end of the whole story, except one of the passengers opposite Isaac was touched by what he saw and he snapped a picture and posted it on social media and it made the rounds. Boy, did it make the rounds. Something about a Jewish man caring for a young African-American in a hoodie on the subway tugged at the hearts of so many people. For a good half hour, never seeing the man's face hidden by the hoodie. He doesn't even know the person who took the picture as the train pulled into a station. It got millions and millions of views and it captured even the media's attention. Isaac had become a celebrity overnight. His yarmulke on his head clearly defined him as a Jew and he created a huge Kiddush Hashem. The New York Daily News columnist wrote, Isaac helps out fellow New Yorker. The Huffington Post headline stated, this picture defines ultimate goodness. Each of them showing the picture of Isaac and the young man. The media tried to track him down and eventually they got hold of his daughter and they were expecting him to be this incredible person. And when they told her the story, she said, oh, that's just my dad being my dad. When I got off the subway, I made nothing of it. It was just a New York moment. A great Jew and a great person. The Pasuk in this week's parasha tells us to take Shem and Zayizach, to take pure olive oil and use it for the Mishkan. The Medrash on that Pasuk tells us that Klal Yisrael are compared to a Zayis. We compare to the olive and compare to the olive oil. Why? Explains the Medrash. Because just like oil does not mix and integrate with other liquids, so too Klal Yisrael. We always stay above and distinct from all other nations. And that's something we should be proud of. We should be walking the streets knowing that we are the Rabbi Nishalom's chosen nation. We're different, we act different, we speak different, and we behave differently. And that's what defines us as the Rabbi Nishalom's chosen person. Let's remember that, cherish our differences. And Be'ezus Hashem, the Rabbi Nishalom will give us so much bracha in all of our lives. Have an amazing Shabbos.